Hey y'all, this is Dan, ISTL, I saw the light, um, coming to you for this video. You have my daughter, one of my two favorite daughters, upload this video. I only got two daughters, but that's a little funny. You can narrate out whatever you want there. Um, whoever's gonna fix this mess. Um, yeah, I'm just coming to you, you know, to just chew the fat, see what's going on, and um, to talk about um, the Lord, life, uh, reality, and the fake that's going on, you know? A lot of fake stuff going on, a lot of fake uh, religion going on, a lot of fake politics going on. Everybody likes to be left and right. Um, I know their arguments, you know. Oh, I'm liberal. Oh, I'm Republican. I'm conservative. I'm this, that. They're all the same. They're all the same. Creature from Jekyll Island. Look it up. It's a book. And it's also, the guy has a YouTube video out on his book. He narrates it. Um, and it's a jaw dropper. Um, you're really going to wake up to what's really going on here. Um, and they're quaking in their boots. They don't know what to do. This system's gonna crash at some point. They can print money. Um, I think they can print million dollar bills and they can stack them on the thin side all the way up to the moon. And they'll probably still have room to print. We're living a fake reality. I, I don't know how else to say it. Yeah, we, we gotta eat. We gotta, you know, we gotta do all our stuff. This, I'm, I'm not, not talking like you know, uh, well, it is crazy talk, but I mean, I'm talking like, this is the current system we're in. I'm going to bring the Bible into this. Jesus said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. What he's talking about is Caesar being Satan. Yes, Caesar, also Caesar of Rome, but a figure of Satan. Caesar owns this world. Let him have it. You Christians out there chasing your stuff, I call it shit. Sorry for the word. I gotta be real with you. I'm gonna use some tough words every once in a while. But I gotta be tough with you on this because everybody's pussyfooting around. They all want their money. And donate if you'd like. But I'm telling you, stop chasing the stuff. Uh, there's a commercial out there. Um, it's a big commercial. This pig running through this guy with a pig head on running through the neighborhood. You know, a friendly looking pig. You know, like the little, little, uh, the, um, the piggy bank. That, that piggy pig head on his, on his, on his shoulders. Okay. He's going through the neighborhood running and you're trying to chase it because you want to throw money in the bank. That's the whole gimmick. Put money in the bank. It's fake. Money in the bank doesn't mean nothing. The whole thing's, the whole thing's just, it, it's, it's just a setup. They, they don't need the money. They just want you chasing after stuff so that you think you're doing something for yourself. Here's what you need in the world. This is it. I'll back it up with what I used to tell my two daughters, okay? When they were, when they were little, I kind of still use it now. They always, we're divorced, we're a divorced family. Um, my my wife is my ex-wife is tolerating me now at best. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was um, I, I was I was quite a quite a handful, I guess, um, not not in a good way. Um, I just made a mess on my little itty bitty counter, um, but I will clean it up. Um, and I'm having um, I'm having ice cream. I put vanilla ice cream and I put um, Nestle Quick powder on it, or the hot chocolate mixed with the marshmallows. Just, just on top as a topping. You gotta try it. It's kind of neat, and I got patent pending on that. So if anybody tells you it came from me, because I don't know if anybody else does this kind of crazy stuff. Um, but um, I used to tell him, "What do you want to eat?" Well, I don't know. I, I, I want to uh, maybe I want a chicken sandwich, or I want a chicken fingers, or I want uh, chicken nuggets. I well, okay. So if I want a chicken, okay, how do you want it? Or you want a hamburger, or you want fish or do you want what's the other one? Oh, pig bacon you know that kind of thing so four items you eat every day you might eat five or six you know what I mean but I mean the main four items there are farms with pigs there are farms with chickens there are farms with cows there are farms with well there's oceans with fish in it and there's actually farms with fish in it that's how they do it 
So, I mean, you got to think about the system for what it is. It, it, you're chasing nothing. You're chasing fake. This is a fake reality. I love the song, the 80s song. I'm old, as you can see. You know, you get some oldness here. Um, life is just a fantasy. Can you live a fantasy life? And it's true. Can you live this fantasy life knowing this life is fake? You have to hold on to your faith. Your soul needs to go where it belongs. You're losing your body. You're losing everything here. It's gone. Back to the dirt it goes. Very simple stuff. I'm not trying to be uh, this, this big uh, evangelist type person. I'm, that's not me. That's not my job. I didn't even sign up for it. But I know the Lord gave me a dream one time. And I was walking around with a Bible in my hand. That's all I had. About all I got left. Except for my two daughters and my ex-wife that likes me a little bit. <laughs> it's also I don't talk to her for too long. Um, she, she, she'll still like me. Um, but, you know, it's, um, it, it's you know, it, it, it just brought up in, um, into this stuff that uh, you, you're chasing, you, you're chasing a false reality. Oh, let me go back to what I was, sorry for the rabbit hole. There'll be a lot of these. Be prepared. I am a rabbit hole king. Um, you need three things in life. And Jesus Christ, food, and shelter. That's it. After that, think long and hard. Would you have the car or all the cars or the bus fare or this or that if you didn't have to pay for that big massive apartment or whatever little apartment? A shoebox costs a thousand dollars a month now. This is ridiculous. You know, I'm talking to you in my um, my trailer. I got a trailer that I just um, I just I, I bought it. You know, my uh, my my current wife just passed away, and. Um, we were in process of turning this into a camper um, and we were going to start doing some RVing and do, do some time offs type of stuff in between uh, working. But um, I'm just going to carry and we carry on that same way because um, that's really where I feel I think I, I need to, I'm, I'm purposefully simplifying my life. This is not for everybody, but you, you, you got to realize what's going on. You got to realize big time what's going on. They are, we're being played by the governments of the world these these all these all these clowns running all this stuff you know what i mean they, they, they're playing us and the bible talks about it anyways the bible talks about it happening so it's, are they doing wrong no because god talked about it god told us to put it in a book and we wrote it in a book and jesus had to come because there's not one of us that figured it out not one of us and it's not our job to figure it out he did not create us to be a self-sustaining creation. A creation always needs its creator. It needs its, its I, I believe a tree, an acorn, right, is an is a oak tree. I believe if you were, if it didn't rot away, of course, it, pretty much that acorn still in the ground, if I'm not mistaken, is that, that seed is still in the ground rotting for 5, 10, 15, 20 years on the, on the end of that tree. On the end of one of the roots, so it sticks. It need it needs its it needs its nucleus, its sauce. It needs where we're creation of God in His image, not in His power. Just we look like Him. We can. He gave us the ability to cut a tree down, turn it to two by fours, and turn it to a big obnoxious house, if we so please. And we're being blessed. Ooh, blessing, big house. Oh, look at me go. I can get two. One on the ocean, one on the beach, one on the mountains. Oh, I get all this stuff. Look at me blessed. I just have a problem with people that, um, there's a lot of poor people. Uh, and, and we'll always be, have the poor around us because simply said, we will always just think of ourselves. We are a selfish creation because of the fall. Um, but we just got to... Um, I know I'm all over the place on this thing, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that I get better at this stuff, but I, I, stuff has come to a head in my life that I, I, my daughter's been trying to talk me into doing a YouTube channel because I talk a lot, and I have a lot of stuff, and she thinks a lot of it makes sense. Poor kid. <laughs> she's, she's corrupted <laughs> forever. <laughs> and um, I'm sure her mother's going to... Um, Send the no, no, just forget that one. Just be the wise guy. Um, 
but um, I just, this is my, uh, I guess my debut, uh, um, what is it, 10 minutes? Yeah, I got 10 minutes on this talk, so apparently I can, I can talk very easily. Uh, my boss at work um, has already kicked me out of work twice, half an hour early, <laughs> just because I talk too much. Put your time in for the full amount of time and get the hell out of here. That's what he said to me. But um, I like the guy. I, I think he's pretty cool. You know, he's, a, he's a young guy. I think he's pretty cool, though. You know, um, he, he's, a, he's a hard worker. He knows his stuff. Um, and, um, yeah, I just like being a wise guy. I don't know. It's, you know, um, just, just like being a wise guy. And, um, I, I hope, I hope he doesn't think that I'm, I don't like him. I just, you know, that's how I am. But anyways, um, all I can say at the end of this message is get in close and tight to Jesus Christ relationship, not Jesus Christ religion, not Jesus Christ because that guy said it, or this guy said it, or that woman said it, or this woman. I want to be like this woman. No, it's you and Jesus Christ, and you and Jesus Christ alone. Because at the end of your life, you're going to face that person, you and them. There'll be nobody around you but you and that person. You need to get to terms with that. And I'm going to say this other thing. You're not going to hell because of your sin. Now, your sin can bring you to hell because you won't give it up. And you won't accept Jesus Christ because you want your sin instead of Jesus Christ. What I'll say is, okay, I have data. Oh, that's good. Five minutes, I guess this is a live corner. <laughs> Talk about that later. Um, you go to hell simply and only because you do not accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Forget about what you're doing wrong. In fact, what I want you to do when you do that thing wrong, don't get pissed off. Because the devil won. So you know what? I messed up. Jesus, forgive me. And I give that problem to you. What I just did, you saw it all. I give it to you. And this, this, I kid you not, this is what I said when I had, I had what's called a stronghold. Um, and it'll come back. It'll, sometimes it'll come back. It'll rear its ugly head. But you keep quitting. And you keep giving it to Jesus. This is what I said. I like my sin. That's why I have my sin. Because that's what I like to do. Doesn't matter what it is. A to Z. Pick your sin. The one I'm talking to you about. Your sin. You say, I don't want to want it or like it anymore. But I can do nothing about it. I give it to you, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Say, I wash my hands of it. And then in five minutes when you do it again, say it again. You, it, it's a hot thing. You have to, you don't have to say, please don't start saying it 15,000 times a day. It's, it's, it's directional. Um, it took me a long time to understand this, and I hope in future videos I can kind of bring it out more because this is really kind of the focus of what I want to do. Um, it's really in Romans 8 and 2. And I'll, and, and I'll put a plug in for a church. Okay, this is the one that this is the one that I the Lord brought me to this church. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a plug, but I don't want you getting religious on it. Tune in, check it out. You have to do your own personal reading. The Holy Spirit will start talking to you. You need to stop trusting people. As far as I'm gonna, what does this person think? I go. I haven't gone to one pastor yet. I'm big issues. I mean, I, I just had some huge stuff. My mom died. 30 days later, my wife died. Okay? Huge stuff. I have yet to go to them. I am in solid with Jesus Christ. He's my Lord and Savior. He knew this was going to happen. I believe, what I believe, well, my mother was, I guess you'd call it a plan, not planned death, but I mean, she, she was dying. She, she loved the Lord and she wanted to go home with him. And I tell you what, I will talk about that. I will talk about that. And I might even, boy, that might be something me and um, my oldest daughter um, could probably go together on a video later on about. Because she was, she was there for that whole, that whole thing. We, we witnessed some of the most amazing stuff. I, 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 I have never seen a person pass away. But I tell you what, I recommend, if you know somebody that knows the Lord... Yeah, I get around it. That was that was an amazing experience. My sister probably won't like that I said it quite that way, but um, 
I'm coming from a, from a guy's perspective on it. I mean, my mother was, she was giving play by play, almost like you're watching a football game. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, oh, they're gonna score. Oh, he's, she's talking about, I, I got another sister. I, I, I heard, but she was a stillborn. I figured, okay, I don't, I don't know how all that works in heaven, but my mother saw it. There's my little girl. I go, and I go, my sister. I go, what, what is she talking about? I'll tell you later. So she saw her little girl, my, my, my older sister, um, and she saw my oldest brother. The, uh, I think he lived for a few hours, and he passed away. Pierre. Um, and my, I'll get the name for my sister. Um, uh, Lisa, Louisa, something, something like that. This, it, it was, it was a pretty cool name. It would have been kind of cool. Could have harassed two sisters. Instead, we got stuck with one. Oh. But anyways, um, yeah, I probably missed a lot of points. I'll have to stop writing stuff down so I get to the key stuff. But um, I, um, I just want you guys to know that it, it's this is not a works situation. You just you put your hands to your side, sit down. And relax and say to the Lord, Jesus Christ, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. There is zero I can do about my situation, but I know you can. And you have to just trust it. Just you're gonna have to trust it. Um, there's a guy on YouTube that I've been listening to, and he's and he's and he and he says it different. He he's not. He's more on the religion, spiritual side, you know, the, 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 the moon, the rocks kind of, kind of stuff, you know, the, the universe speaks. Well, yes, the universe speaks because God told it to speak. You, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to bust his balls, but I mean, the universe, when God said for that rock, you're going to be solid and you're going to sit right there and you're going you're gonna to erode slowly. That's, that's that rock's job. It goes back to its circuits. Everything goes to its circuits. The Bible talks about Cle Ecclesiastes is the best book in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Because nothing new has happened. Even this COVID, nothing new. They can pick their disease. They can rename diseases. They can do whatever they want. You know what they are? They're a bunch of lost people that are trying to figure out this system without God. That, that's what I was trying to get with my mother dying. When she, she, she stopped talking... After she saw it, she, she said, I see my two angels coming. She stopped talking after that. That body, she, she had what they, what they call the death rattle. I surmise the death rattle is the body trying to survive without the soul and the spirit. That's what I think. The body's trying to figure out. How, how, it's kind of like, all right, I'm going to get my car. I'm going to take the gas tank out and the motor out. I'm going to go to work. You're walking, pal. And unless you have a friend, Jesus Christ, you're going to be walking forever in the pit. I hope, hope this helps. I hope I, I hope it makes some sense. I don't know, but I'm going to give this over to my daughter. And girl, good luck. I, I say let it out raw, because what, what can you cut out of this? I'm, I'm so jumbled. But hey. Uh, love you all, um, and um, yeah, we'll see you around. Um, God bless you, you know, in Jesus' name, you know, let everything work out for you guys, and um, you know, just trust the Lord and realize that don't go after this stuff. Jesus Christ said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. This whole system is Caesar's, okay? Let him have it. This whole system is Satan's. Let him have it, because he's going to go down with it, okay? All right, love you guys. Have a great night.